In this video, we're going to go over Poiselet flow. Poiselet flow is the laminar flow of viscous fluids in a pipe. So before, we weren't really focusing on viscosity. When we looked at ideal fluid flow, we said that that was flow without viscosity. Now that we are looking at viscous fluids, that means instead of simply looking at fluids like water that are essentially not viscous, we're looking at fluids such as honey or blood that are viscous and have some resistance to fluid flow. As it turns out, when you're looking at viscous fluid flow that's laminar and within a pipe, the flow rate is directly proportional to the pressure difference at the two ends of the pipe and inversely proportional to the fluid's viscosity. We can see that in this equation. So this is the Poiselet law that describes the flow rate. And here, F of course is the flow rate. We've seen that before. Delta P, this is the pressure difference at the two ends of the pipe. And the pressure difference is important because if the pressure is the same at both sides, then there's no reason for the fluid to flow. So the pressure has to be greater on one side than the other in order for there to be flow rate. And of course, it's gonna be in the direction from higher pressure to lower pressure. R is the radius. So this is the radius of the pipe. And we have eta. Eta is the viscosity coefficient. So you can think of this as viscosity. And we also have L, which is the length of the pipe. So several things for us to consider here. And the main ones that we're gonna focus on and the important ones for NAMCAT is that the flow rate is directly proportional to the pressure difference and inversely proportional to the fluid's viscosity, right? Again, viscosity, you can think of it as resistance to fluid flow. So you can see in this equation, the greater the viscosity, the lesser the flow rate. So that makes sense. And also the pressure difference is what is driving fluid flow. So if you have a greater pressure difference, that's gonna result in an increase in the flow rate. All right, now another very important part of this equation is actually looking at how the flow rate depends on the radius of the pipe. And this is actually uh, proportional to the radius to the power of four. So essentially, Poiselet's law tells us that a small change in the radius will actually produce a very significant change in the flow rate. So to see how this works, let's take a look at an example. So here, the situation is, if plaques from atherosclerosis reduces the radius of a blood vessel by 10%, how will the flow rate in the blood vessel change? All right. So from Poiselet's law, we know that the flow rate is directly proportional to the radius to the power of four. So however the radius changes, if we multiply that change or take that to the fourth power, that will tell us how the flow rate changes. And here it is decreased by 10%, so that means the radius is now 90% or 0.9 of its original value. So 0.9 to the power of four, this might seem a little tricky, but uh, that's just 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9, and 0.9 times 0.9, we know that's 0.81. So then it's just 0.81 times 0.81, which the math looks ugly, but 0.81 is close to eight, and we know eight times eight is 64. So that means the flow rate is now about 65%, 0.65, of its original value. And this is actually a significant difference. You can see, you only decrease the radius by 10%, but your flow rate dropped by 35%. That's a very large change, and it really shows the impacts of atherosclerosis from a health point of view. And if you think about it, if the heart wants to bring the flow rate back to normal, one thing that I could do is increase the pressure difference so the heart can work harder to pump blood, but that of course is not very good because then this is going to result in high blood pressure because you would have to have a significant increase in the pressure in order to bring the flow rate back to normal. So essentially this is how Poiselet's flow works and in particular keep in mind that 
the flow rate is directly proportional to the pressure difference and the radius to the power of 4 and inversely proportional to the viscosity of the fluid.